Now I'm very pleased to present your host for our next segment, or hostess in this case. She's one of the leading ladies of television who this year became one of the leading ladies in motion pictures. Here she is, Tilly, Miss Carol Burnett. Chuck. <laughs> yeah, that he really is. He's a man who can do everything. Just in one short period of time, he led his people out of Egypt, painted the Sistine Chapel, and was elected president of the Screen Actors Guild. He also learned how to make a hell of an entrance. <laughs> a very nice introduction. Thank you. Thank you. I, I really did enjoy doing Pete and Tilly this year because it was, uh, it was quite a departure for me. It, it brought both laughter and tears. Uh, laughter in the scene when I sprayed up Geraldine Page's skirt with a hose and tears when I saw Walter Matthau naked. <laughs> Walter Matthau wasn't in the nude. I mean, uh, he was in the nude, but in the nude, Walter wasn't the only violence in the movies this year. I saw, I saw the Poseidon Adventure, and afterwards I was afraid to take a cruise on an ocean liner. I saw Deliverance. I was afraid to take a canoe ride. And then I saw Last Tango in Paris, and now I'm afraid to get in the bathtub. <laughs> you don't believe that. I did love Cabaret. I thought Liza Minnelli was simply great and I'm very happy for Joel Gray. I've known Joel for many, many years. In fact, um, I knew him when his name was Joel Katz. And I think uh, he and Liza did a fantastic job in Cabaret. Because it's not easy for two kids named Manelli and Katz to tap dance their way across Nazi Germany. <laughs> so let us proceed. And now to talk about the pictures that don't talk English, the president of the Motion Picture Association of America, Mr. Jack Valenti, and a beautiful lady who speaks and acts in six languages, Miss Elke Summer. Hi. Mr. Valenti and I are here to present the award for the best foreign film of the year. Now we know that uh, the countrymen of those filmmakers are listening and watching just as eagerly as we are here tonight. And on, on behalf of the Academy, may I welcome them in their own tongue. Dobro večer, bonsoir, ereftov, buenas noches, good afton which simply means good evening. That's right. Now today the movie has no nationality. It is a citizen of the world. That's precisely right, Elka. Wherever talent, creativity, and craftsmanship reside, there the movie lives and prospers. And that's why the American film is welcomed and viewed in more than 80 countries on this globe, because audiences look at a film not to discover its origin, but to enjoy its content. And American audiences are no different from any other. So tonight, we honor superb foreign films created by great filmmakers from all over the world. The films nominated are... Okay, from the USSR, Azori Zdjestikie. Which means, the dawns here are quiet. Right. A Gorky film studio's production. From France, Le Charme Discret de la Bourgeoisie. Which, of course, does mean the discreet charm of the bourgeoisie, a Serge Soberman production. From Israel, Ani Oef Otach Rosa. Which means, I love you, Rosa, a Noah Films Limited production. From Spain, Mi Querida Señorita. <laughs> My dearest Senorita, you mean that? an El Iman production. And from Sweden, in Vandarna. The New Land, a Svensk film industry production. That's right. And the winner is. All right. The 
winner is the discreet charm of the bourgeoisie. Right. Accepting the award on behalf of France and the discreet charm of the bourgeoisie, producer Serge Silverman. My age is also the speech will be very short. First, thanks to Louise Bunuel that I accepted to make the picture. And then I would like to thank the thank to 20th Century Fox who helped me to make the picture known, especially here in the United States. Thanks to you all and to the Academy. <laughs>